Good evening, everyone. LB here with my uh, War 13 second attack. And in this war, you can see Outlaws War 11 and the Asian Clan 78. Uh, we are uh, doing well. They're 41 attacks in with their 78. We're 37. There's two hours left in the war. Uh, so we're in pretty good shape. And as you can see, there are just not a lot of stores left to be had. Uh, unfortunately, Mac uh, disconnected and um, wasn't able to complete her attack on six. Chris will step in and grab that. Paris had a nice attack on number 11 to get three more stores. Um, I'm looking at number 12. It has two stores left, and um, that is pretty much uh, uh, as good as it gets right now in terms of trying to find something useful to attack. So this is an Enlightenment Age base with a Colosseum and a uh, Stonehenge. Uh, the Coliseum is the only wonder that they have that's going to um, be problematic. Uh, but they do have good walls, and their uh, defenses are um, uh, uh, well uh, surrounding the, the town hall. So um, it could be a bit of a fight to get in there. My plan is going to be to come in to, from the southwest, um, go through these houses, and try to get in there, get the quick victory. And then I will go around counterclockwise, basically uh, trying to follow the defenses around. Um, because if I tried to rally out to a location where we don't have defenses to pull my troops to them, then what's going to happen is the troops are just going to, the, the heavies are just going to wander away from the rest of the army and go back to where the defenses are. And uh, it's important to have your heavies leading you around to protect you know, your cannons and stuff as they're shooting from, um, from hopefully from behind the protective wall of your um, the tanks and, and the heavies. So uh, that's what we're looking at. And uh, just to getting ready to roll here, I think my army is in good shape and I've got all my troops. We're looking at um, a B-17 hangar, um, which hopefully will come in handy. Um, two generals. I'm going with Alexander and Napoleon. Um, Joan of Arc would be the prefer preferred over Alexander, but um, not available. Still recovering from my first attack with a, about an hour or so left. I've got two artillery in my alliance troops. That'll come in handy. A little lighter on heavies this time, but hopefully heavier on the shooters. Um, you know, I mean on the guns, the two artillery, the five cannon. I'm hoping we'll make up for that and hopefully, you know, let my heroes tank a little bit as well. And uh, there you have it. Let's see how we go. And uh, unfortunately, I picked up some heavies, some, some of their cav right off the bat there. So I'm trying to get my troops out. And there you go. Let's try to get out and around. I hopefully didn't do that too badly. Get my troops moving to where they'll be able to find some defenses to go after is the main thing. You see, look at my tanks going right back in. And that's what I was trying to stop from happening. And hopefully that won't hurt my plane too much.
And taking out that last mortar, I think, was very helpful for us. So everything is looking good here. Just have to get through. I have a minute 19 left. Looking around for anything that might need attention. And I think we're fine. We've still got a minute to go. And we've got plenty of troops to get there. And there you have it. Um, actually went much, uh, well, it went great. You know, as far as my plan to uh, get them around and um, the uh, air power definitely came in handy. So um, I'm very happy with that outcome. Lost a couple of uh, supply carts in there, um, but otherwise uh, casualties were not significant. So two more stars to add to the uh, score and we are set. Thanks for watching.